انا مي مولا يا حسين او 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 مي مولا يا حسين the woman of حسين the woman of علي the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately the children of Hussein the children of Zahra the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that they saw together the women of Hussein Hussain, the women of Ali, the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately. The children of Hussain, the children of Zahra, the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that they saw one more time the women of Hussein, the women of Ali, the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately. Your voices, the children of Hussein. The children of Zahra, the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that I. Where is this place so desolate? And how'd you end up here? The prophets own so far from home with blood stains in your beard. I looked for Ali Akbar's face, but what I found instead. Was he who had the prophet's mouth among the sea of them? What happened to that smiling youth whose face we long to see? How did these people come to kill the branches of God's tree? Your women have no guardians now, their sons and fathers gone. Your women have no guardians now, their sons and fathers gone. Their tents in flames, their necks in chains, the torture still goes on. Their tents in flames, their necks in chains, the torture still goes on. The women of Hussein, the women of Ali, the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately everyone the children of Hussein the children of Zahra the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that they saw one more time the women of Brothers and sisters, the women of Ali, the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately. 
the children of the children of Zahra, the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that they saw. Your sister is so hard to talk to, all she does is cry. Your sister is so hard to talk to. All she does is cry. She holds her arms up, cursing them and speaking to the sky. And children lay all at your feet, dismembered and at peace. And children lay all at your feet. Dismembered and at peace A twelve-year-old whose body's cold Muhammad, can this be? Will no one tell me how this happened To Hussein and his kin? Will no one tell me how this happened To Hussein and his kin? Why are the prophets as children's thirsty what have you done to them if only you destroyed the Kaaba and let this family live if only you destroyed the Kaaba and let this family live there might be hope for you that God would pardon and forgive the women of Hussein the women of Ali the women of Rasul were crying as they dragged them desperately the children of Hussein the children of Zahra the children of Rasul were crying for the murders that they Azadar of Sayyid Muslim, the mourners of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. It is enough for us to realize that today is the day of Ashura. For her, our hearts to pour with grief that we know that Imam Hussein is in pain today. For our hearts to know that Imam's family is in pain today. For us to know that the companions of the Imam are in pain today. Today is the day when Imams Ahl al-Bayt and their children were asking for water and the camp of Ahl al-Bayt was raising the voices of Al-Atash, Al-Atash, Al-Atash so that the enemy can understand and so that the enemy can know that this is the family of Holy Prophet and they have been deprived of the basic necessity that the army of Yazid even would provide to their animals. My dear brothers and sisters, 
Today we need to extend our condolences to Hazrat Zahra Salamullah Alayha. We have to extend our condolences to the Imam of our time. So let us not feel shy and crying because those eyes that the Prophet of Allah say that would cry in mourning of Hussein shall not cry on the day of judgment. My dear brothers and sisters, maqtal is one of the difficult part just to reveal and convey the pain that Ahl al-Bayt had gone through on the day of Ashura is a very, very difficult job that one could try to convey. But our hearts, if we are reflecting towards Karbala, if our hearts are in Karbala and not here, and if we are standing in front of the Imam of our time and saying to Imam Hussain, Ya Laytana, Kunna Maakum, Fafuza Maakum. Oh Imam, we wish that we were with you so that we could attain the victory that you have attained it in Karbala. We would say that to the Imam of our time. Oh Imam, we are ready for being your Mu'in and your Nasser, for being your helper, O oh Imam, so that we can also be amongst the companions of Imam Hussein. My dear brothers and sisters, the caravan of Karbala started from Medina. Imam Hussein started from Medina when Yazid came into power and there was there was pressure on Imam Hussein to do the bay'ah in Medina and there were threats to the life of Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein did not want any bloodshed amongst the Muslims. Imam Hussein did not want it. the blood of Muslims should be spilled and therefore Imam avoided bloodshed and left Medina and he moved towards Mecca and the Imam was staying there and, and the Imam was in, in, in Hajj and there was conspiracy that was being hashed in Mecca also to assassinate Imam Hussein and in the meanwhile the people of Kufa they invited Imam Hussein and they said, Ya Imam, that we are awaiting anxiously to be led with a just Imam as you. And it is, you are the Hujjah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are the guardian of the Ru Rasulullah. You are the guardian of the uh, deen of Rasulullah. Ya Imam, please come to our aid. And we would not be willing to uh, be under the oppressive regime of the tyrant Yazid and his followers. It became necessary it became duty on Imam Hussein that he should go towards Kufa because the people of Kufa had invited him and the Imam's duty is to guide and therefore the Imam was leaving aware of what the consequences could be and the companions of the Imam and the loved ones of the Imam and the well-wishers of the Imam were, uh, were warning him oh Imam do not go there oh Imam that this is a conspiracy see this is not this is not going to be good for you there could be threat for your life you could be martyred in this movement and Imam Hussein does not listen to them knowing the consequences because when the Imam was leaving Medina when he visits the shrine of Rasulullah and the narration says that Imam went into the state of Manamia and in the state of Manamia what does Imam see he sees Rasulullah coming into the dream of Imam and saying, Ya Hussein, oh my beloved Hussein, I would like to see you martyred in the plains of Karbala because Islam needs your blood. Islam needs the blood so that it can nourish and rise up again. Islam is being corrupted by munafiqeen and hypocrites. Imam Hussein knew the consequences of this journey. Therefore, when he wrote the wasiyah to Muhammad Hanafi, he said that I am going so that I could uridu an amur bil maruf wa anhan al munkar. I would like to seek amr bil maruf and nahi an al munkar, and I want to I want to reform the ummah of my Rasulullah, ummah of my grandfather. I want to walk on the path of Rasulullah and the path of my father Ali ibn Abi Talib. My dear brothers and sisters, Imam alayhi salam. 
could have gone along um, with his followers but imam chose to go along with his whole family no, uh, if somebody would go on a battlefield he would not take his family he would not take his children imam knew his mission clearly that i have to be martyred mazloom as an oppressed because the oppressors are daring and they are infiltrating hypocrisy in islam and islam is being tainted and i need to uphold whole the isnab e nab e muhammadi the pure islam that prophet of allah had brought that's why imam hussein carried along with him his uh, his women his sisters his daughters and imam made this journey as you all are aware my dear brothers and sisters imam was stopped on the way by hora ibn yazid e uh, who had the instructions that do not let imam hussein enter into the city of kufa uh, otherwise there would be mutiny and revolution in kufa and hora ibn yazid e in the beginning did not understand the conspiracy that was held by ibn ziyad and he was a ha- he was a person of a pure heart although when hor was stopping imam hussein hor was confronted by Imam Hussein in a state where he himself and his army was very very thirsty they were on the verge of dying because they were lost in the desert and they did not had any water their supplies had completely uh, gone and Imam Hussein when he sees her he does not become rude to him even though his companions say oh Imam he is here to stop you this is the best opportunity the enemy is thirsty the enemy is weak we can attack them and we can finish them off and we would be free and imam hussein says i would not initiate a battle i would not initiate a confrontation he hosts her and his army and provides him with water not only to his army but also to the horses on which the army of her had arrived along with her imam hussein albatta is in fact imam hussein ensures that her is also seen the way of righteousness but her uh, forces imam hussein to stop Imam Hussein becomes uh, he comes in rage and says may your mother cry over you or oh, her how dare you hold the reins of my horses and her says if anybody in Arabia would have dared to say this ya imam oh son of the holy prophet i would have responded worst with the worst response but how could i respond to you anything but good about your mother because she is the sayyada shabab she is the sayyada tunisa Al-Alamin. She is the lady of all the ladies in this world and in the heavens. Oh Imam, how could I say that to you? This was her who was very confused, who was concerned that I am between, I have to choose between right and wrong, who realized on the ninth night that this confrontation is going to take place and there is no way out except for killing Imam Hussein or seeking allegiance of Imam Hussein. And Umar ibn Saad himself concedes and says that this is impossible that Hussein would do the bay'ah because he has the heart of his father Ali ibn Abi Talib and he shall not do the bay'ah uh, we are not left with any other choice but to kill Hussein and Ibn Ziyad insists and he sends Shimr ibn Ziljoshan and forces ibn, uh, Umar ibn Saad and says oh Shimr ibn Ziljoshan if Umar ibn Saad is not willing to take this action then you are going to become the commander of the army and and you are going to ensure that either Hussein does the bayah or Hussein is killed. There is no third option, my dear brothers and sisters. Yesterday we spoke about Shabe Ashur, the night of Ashur, when the army of Yazid came and Umar ibn Saad ordered because Umar ibn Saad.